Spiral is the ninth movie in the Saw franchise, the first kind of spin-off movie in the Saw franchise. It is connected to the other sequels, but it mainly goes on its own path. But either way, it's a new Saw movie. In May. When it comes to the Saw movies, I'm more of a recent viewer, and when I say recent, I mean I just watched these movies a couple weeks ago for the first time ever in preparation for this new movie, Spiral. So my thoughts and opinions on these movies might be a bit different than someone who's more of a hardcore fan of these movies, but I'll give you a run through on my thoughts on the series leading up to Spiral. The first Saw movie I love. I think it's a very cool, very tense, claustrophobic, psychological thriller. I wouldn't necessarily call it horror. It's more of a psychological thriller, but either way, it's a very good movie and I love the first one. After that, the sequels become hit and miss for me. I think 2 is pretty good. Not as good as the first one. Nowhere near as good as the first one. But I enjoy 2. 3 is okay. Didn't really care for 3 all that much, but it's watchable. 4 and 5 I thought were really bad. In fact, 4 and 5, I actually started to lose interest in the series. And my friend who I saw Spiral with was really trying to get me to finish these movies. And I'm like... Do I really have to? After watching 4 and 5, I was like, can't I just watch some spoiler videos to get caught up? And he's like, no, you gotta watch the rest of them. And I was like, all right, fine. Hopefully they get better. And I thought 6 was all right. Not as good as the first one or the second one, but I thought it was okay. It was a decent watch. But then the final chapter hits. And I'm kind of mixed on the final chapter. It's probably my least favorite Saw movie because it just feels and looks so cheap. And I didn't really care for much of the movie, except for the twist. I know a lot of people hate the twist and are kind of mixed on the twist, but I thought it was decent. I thought it was, it actually caught me off guard. But then I looked back on the movie and I'm like, yeah, they did make that twist pretty obvious. I should have been paying more attention. <laughs> and I actually kind of enjoyed Jigsaw, another one that's very mixed with the fans and a lot of people hate, but I found enjoyment in Jigsaw. It's the best looking Saw movie. So going into Spiral, I had pretty low expectations. I'm not a fan of this whole series. I love the first movie and some of the sequels, but I wouldn't consider myself a fan of this series. So I had low expectations going into it. And leaving it, I was pretty entertained. I'm not gonna lie. I actually had quite a bit of fun with Spiral. Not as good as the first one, but I will say it's probably my second favorite since the first one. I actually like this one a bit more than two Jigsaw and definitely three. But that's not to say this movie doesn't have any problems. No, 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 no. This movie carries on tropes from the Saw sequels that I personally didn't care for all that much. I'll get into a little bit of that, but let's talk about what I liked about the movie first. The first thing I liked about this movie and the first thing I instantly took away from it was that I liked that this movie was kind of a mystery detective movie. Because with the sequels, the investigation, police detective stuff is really boring and filled with really bad characters and not so good actors, I gotta say. But with this one, I was actually invested on what was going on with the police and what was going on with the mystery and the detective stuff, it, it was pretty well handled. Much better handled than the other films did. I cared about what was going on and it kept my interest. So that's a big plus. I actually liked that this movie was more of a mystery thriller instead of a bloody gore fest with boring stuff in between. And I like Chris Rock in this movie. He's been kind of getting a little bit of mixed reception on his performance in this movie. Some thought he was miscast, some thought he was very good. I thought he was very good. You can tell that he's a Saw fan because there's a lot of aspects in this movie that feel like they were done with care that hardcore Saw fans might appreciate. And I thought the traps were pretty cool in this movie. I'm gonna say this right now, I'm kind of agoraphobe. I don't really take extreme gore in a movie that well. For instance, um, Saving Private Ryan, I had a tough time getting through that movie because of all the extreme realistic gore. Same thing with The Passion of the Christ. That movie was very hard for me to watch at first. And I didn't really care for how over the top and extreme the Saw sequels made the gore. The first movie, there was a lot of blood and gore in it, but a lot of it was kind of hidden. It was left up to your imagination on what was really going on. The sequels are just like, eh, just show everything with a lot of, a lot of blood, a lot of guts flying everywhere, throw it at the camera, make people sick. And I was just like, no. I don't, I don't want to see that, and I actually looked away at some of the sequels. Thankfully, with Spiral, the gore is kept to a minimum. You do see quite a bit of it, 
but it's kept to a big minimum compared to the other films. In fact, this movie might have my favorite trap in the whole series. I'm not going to spoil it. All I'll say it involves um, shattered glass. That was pretty cool. A lot of stuff just worked in this movie for me, but there were quite a bit of things that didn't work. Mainly the tone of the movie, in particular the beginning of the movie. The tone's all over the place in this movie, and that could be an issue for some, including myself. Uh, for instance, there's a really cool and really tense and extreme opening. I'm not going to give it away, but it's a really tense opening. And then when that happens, when it's over, then we get into a kind of comedic Chicago PD style opening, introducing Chris Rock's character, who's undercover. I got quite a bit of flashbacks to Chicago PD. I don't know if any of you watch that show, but I got a lot of callbacks to that, only an R-rated version of it, of course. And then we get right back to mystery stuff, figuring out who this Jigsaw copycat is, to more awkward comedy stuff with Chris Rock that was kind of funny yet felt out of place at the same time, so the tone's all over the place. I was really hoping this movie would go back to the original Saw's roots, more of a psychological contained thriller, and it didn't really do all that. It gave us a murder mystery investigation type movie, which is cool, but the tone didn't really fit all that well. And there's quite a bit in this movie that is predictable. I'm not gonna spoil it, no spoilers for me, but I predicted who this Jigsaw copycat was the second the character showed up screen. And I'm not saying that to sound pretentious or to sound like a know-it-all, like, oh, I called that the second I saw it. No, I'm not trying to say that because I want to be like that. I'm not. I said it because it's true. The second this character showed up on screen, I literally said to myself, that's the Jigsaw copycat. No joke. The movie tries to make you think other characters are the Jigsaw copycat by saying, this cop's uh, kind of a douchebag. He did this in the past with Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson. This guy it might be a crooked cop. You don't know because Chris Rock's character doesn't trust anybody. But then every time we cut back to the character who actually is the Jigsaw copycat, they just make it more obvious and more obvious the more times they show him and what he's doing. So that was a bit of a letdown. They really couldn't think of a different way to make you think that this person isn't the Jigsaw copycat? I don't know, maybe it was one of those things that they were filming it and it came off as they it wasn't predictable, but then when they put the film together, it was just kind of like, oh wow, that is really predictable. I don't know. I don't know what the behind the scenes stuff was, but the Jigsaw copycat killer is very, very obvious in this movie. But I more so enjoyed the ride more so than the destination and the execution. The ending I thought was really good though. Once you find out who the Jigsaw copycat killer is, and you say to yourself, yeah, I predicted that early on in the movie. Once you find out all that stuff, the motivation and the ending, I thought was pretty cool. And the way the movie wrapped up, it got me kind of excited. I'm not gonna lie. I am actually excited for more Saw sequels now or Spiral sequels, whatever they decide to do, because I think they're gonna go in a new direction with this Spiral movie. I think the original series, the original seven movies or eight movies is done now and they're gonna go more into the direction of what this movie did? I don't know. But I am excited to see more, which is more than I can say about the other Saw sequels. I think the series is in good hands with Chris Rock. Like I said earlier, you can tell that he's a Saw fan. I just hope that in the next installments, they focus more on the psychological roots of it, because that's really what I want to see for a Saw movie. And like I said, the other sequels didn't really do any of that. I do like the detective aspect of this, if they can make it more of a psychological detective movie for the next installments, that would be really good. Then we'd have a really great Saw sequel on our hands, at least I would think so. There's a few things this movie could have done better, but I think overall the positives do outweigh the negatives, and I would say this movie's worth picking up on Blu-ray. I do recommend seeing this movie if you're a Saw fan, even if you're not a Saw fan and you just want to see a pretty cool detective horror thriller movie. You really don't really need to see any of the other Saw movies before seeing this one. Although it would help just a little bit, but there's it's not like one of those things where they throw in reference after reference after reference after reference and you're watching it like, I don't understand anything about this. You can go into this movie not seeing any of the other Saw movies and you'd be okay. So I do recommend watching this movie. It really surprised me. So that's my review for Spiral. Just like always guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this movie down in the comment section. Did you like this movie? Did you hate this movie? Do you think it was a masterpiece or an abomination to the Saw franchise? What's your ranking of the Saw franchise, including this? Whatever your thoughts on everything is, 
let me know down in the comment section. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. And until next time guys, take care.